Hi, my name is Daniel Walker. I'm the Hardware Product Manager for the Philips Dynalite Portfolio. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about the newly released DDBC 320 dali and the differences from its predecessor. So with its predecessor, it was just referred to as the DDBC 320-D. With this device, it was incredibly successful. It was already our fourth generation multi-universe DALI controller, but to keep up with the requirements of the marketplace, we were looking to update our device. Now, with the updates, we saw that the housing basically remains the same. There were a few change out to the layout, so the terminal orders were rearranged to follow in with the Dynet architecture, so that it followed the same layout with every other device. So this brings more consistency to the way that the units were being installed. We also uh, maintained our plugged in Dynet port. Other additional features to this was we added in an ethernet port. So now that this could be connected as part of the LAN of any project, this LAN LAN port is also secured and encrypted, so we made sure that we were following the security requirements that there may be within the project. Other features that we added to the device is overrides. So this allowed us to be able to individually test the DALI universes, allowing for contractors to test the terminations to the device. We also brought in the sign-on button to the top of the uh, unit. So this allowed for commissioning engineers to be able to identify the device on the network without having to remove the distribution board scutching. The new device is full DALI 2 spec, so this is qualified to be a DALI 2 controller, and you can find this certification on the DIIA website. This allows for the device to be able to perform more advanced functionality than its predecessor, such as tunable white lighting, and it also communicates to our Dynalite DALI sensors. Additionally to its DALI 2 certification, it's also received its UL certification, which is an external accreditation done by the UL laboratories required for products that are being shipped into the North American markets. For this, we've also expanded its supply voltage from 100 to 277, allowing it to be more suitable for those styles of installations. That's a quick overview on the updated DDBC 320 dali If you'd like to know more information on some of the other changes, please visit our website for the additional details. Thank you so much for your attention.